guess this is as good as it's going to get. Now we just have to pull them over here. Okay, it's on. Oh, welcome back everybody to Subsistence. I'm an old guy gaming and in this episode we're going to build ourselves a fishing blind or a fishing hut. <coughs> so I have been uh, gathering stuff off camera and um, working on, you know, getting, we got 70 planks now, we got 75 nails um, and we have, let's see, what do we have, uh, 63 uh, cordages. Uh, so I've been working on that stuff, and um, so I was fishing, and I got attacked by a hunter right from behind, and I turned around and killed him with, with my shotgun. But um, yeah, let's uh, let's turn this off now. And uh, you know, so what I want to do is I want to put a blind up so that I can kind of fish without anything sneaking up behind me. Uh, I managed to catch a catfish, which gave me two fillets and some more oil. So, um, you know, we are slowly building up our, our meat supply in the fridge. And we're getting close to uh, the cotton being finished here. It's, um, I'd say, about 90% of the way there or so. So hopefully by the end of, end of today it'll be finished. And then this stuff is about 75% of the way there. All right. So, yeah, let's... Um, Let's go ahead and grab, uh, I guess we grabbed everything already. Um, so I'm going to put this here. Now, you know, with me building that out there, I don't know if hunters will come along and try and destroy it while I'm not there. Um, they might. Um, but let's just try it anyways. So we're going to want one foundation. And we're going to want um, at least one door and at least two walls and maybe three walls. Uh, so let's start with that, and then we'll see where we are. Also, since we're going back out that direction, um, I want to make some more... Might as well do a little bit of fishing while we're there. I'm really uh, actually starting to appreciate um, fishing by hand. I, the first time I tried it, it took such a long for a bite, you know, for me to get a bike that I'm going, well, this sucks, this takes too damn long, but... You know, with the the chance of getting those big fish and you know all the fillets and the oil and stuff, I think it makes it worth it. Uh, the traps are still not a bad idea either, but with the traps, of course, you have to go back and keep checking them. Um, they both have their place, I suppose. But uh, I, I enjoy, you know, I, I fish in real life, right? So I, I kind of enjoy the fishing aspect. It's fun too. But we need, if we're gonna do it, we need to be protected um, and not have dudes like be sneaking up behind us. So. That's the the deal there. Um, what am I doing? Oh yeah, we're gonna make we're gonna make some of the, the some more tackle. So we need sticks for that. So let's grab uh, some of these and let's see. I'm gonna need two sticks, uh, which will turn into four sticks, and then we can um, turn those into tackle, and we'll have we'll have four tackles um, with us to try out once we get the thing made okay good uh, I did have uh, an attack by I think some rogues at the base but it was one of those deals where you know I was gone uh, quite a ways away and by the time I got back there were no hunters here but you know still had damage uh, our next thing we're gonna do after the fishing blind is we're gonna put foundations in here and then double up these walls um, I should maybe arguably do that first, but the thing is, is I'm starting to think this fishing is really going to be a worthwhile endeavor. Plus the fact that, you know, we can fish in the winter too. So that's another reason why I want, you know, we can ice fish, right? So that's why I want to set this blind up. So that gives us a way to still bring in some food even during the winter. I don't know if the rabbits and chickens would be out during the winter. Um, oh, nice. Rabbits. Rabbits, I would think, would be out. I don't know about chickens, though. But, you know, I'm basing that off of, sort of, kind of off of real life, and who knows if the game uh, actually would follow that. <clears throat> I don't want to really go any further that way, because there's a base over there. we got a stupid bear in the way, so let's go back around this direction.
you know, the blind will also, of course, protect us from any critters that would sneak up behind us, too. I'm thinking, you know, putting it right about here and just fishing out that way would be the way to go. Uh, okay, so um, I want this to be almost level with the water. So right about there is good enough. All right, and then we're going to want to put a wall here. Uh, oh, I guess I put that backwards, didn't I? Doesn't really matter, but let's do it right anyway. I don't know why it went backwards. It seems kind of weird. Here, let's put this, put it on this side instead. There we go. Okay, and then we'll put this one in here, uh, but we want to flip it around this way. What the hell, game? <laughs> Son of a gun. All right, turn, yeah, there we go, okay. All right, so now uh, on the back, we're gonna wanna put a door, of course, so we can get into the place. And this, again, this is just gonna help keep these bastards, oh shit, I didn't make a door, from sneaking up behind us, you know, when we're fishing, because that's been happening and I don't like it. Not at all. And then probably just put a door in front, too. Uh, so, yeah, let's make another door. And I don't know if I can reach the fish from here or if I'm going to need to put some stairs down in there. The other, the other thing, too, is can I get up in here? Uh, oh, I can. Okay. Good. Okay, so let's go uh, put the door in here. And um, we're going to want to make a door away for the front. And maybe even a... Oh, yeah, I already did make the door. Yeah, I think that's what we want. Okay. I don't think we need to cover this. Um, I mean, maybe we should just in case it starts raining so we don't get super cold. And we could put like a little fireplace in here too if we had to. Um, yeah, okay, so let's go here and put that in place. And then we're gonna put the door here. Perfect, okay. So that way, you know, if we are getting shot at from the front, we, we just still have the door to close. Now, the next thing I wanna do, um, let's go ahead and put a roof on here. Ah, crap. We're, we're short a couple nails. Okay, I'll do that later. And that, again, is just to keep us, uh, you know, warm in case it starts to rain and stuff. Okay, so let's get right to the edge here. And let's go ahead and throw a line in the water. Um, and just see if we can land the fish. Uh, just by standing right on the edge here. If we can't, then we're going to have to put... A stairwell down there so we can get down into the water just a little bit. Ah, oh, shit. I missed it. I was busy screwing around looking at something else. Okay, let's try it again. All right, so we got a fish on. Let's see if we can bring it in. Looks like it's just a little perch. Oh, yeah, easy. Easy mode. Okay, cool. And, you know, we could even stand back a little bit more and then just move forward when we, um, you know, have a fish on. So, um, oh, shoot, is that it for our tackle? I thought I made, uh, didn't I make four of those? I guess I just made three. Oh, yeah, I didn't make, I didn't actually make all of them. Gotcha. Okay. Can we also stand here and fill this up? Oh, we can. Look at that. Beautiful. Yeah, man. So this, I think this will be a nice little fishing blind for us. Uh, we just need to get a roof on. I'll, 
I'll build a fire place um, and put that in here just to keep us warm. And um, yeah, okay. Let's uh, see if we can catch another fish. Wait. Oh. I guess I have to be a little further out. <coughs> At least we got our, <coughs> our tackle back, so that's good. This will also be a good place to come at night and just fish during the night in relative safety. Ah, just another little perch. All right, one more. All right, and well, no big ones this time, but that's okay. We got three fish oil out of the deal. All right, so I'm going to be going uh, and getting more resources, nails, and that sort of thing so we can make that, um, uh, get that roof in place. And um, so, yeah, probably cut the camera here and I'll bring you guys back with an update later on on where we are. Oh, shit, don't go that way. All right, guys, our first cotton plants are done. So let's pick these. And then I think what I'm going to do is... Hang on to half of them and turn the other half into more seeds. Um, these guys are getting close, but they're not quite there. So uh, because it's well, now nah, let's go ahead and give them some water, and then maybe the rain will take those all the way back up. Okay, so we got 24 cotton, which is great, and so yeah, let's split this in half. Um, actually, yeah, split it in half again, and then if we turn these six into seeds, oh, how do we, we can't make seeds out of this? Oh, shit. So we only can find them, huh? Oh, that's not good. Um, why can't we turn these into seeds? Ah, oh, crap. Okay, um, well, that being the case, then we are ready to harvest our second crop plot. So let's head on up here. It is September now, and it is cold. And I also have a mountain lion that hangs out right above my place here. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and pick these plants. Oh, I guess they're not 100% ready. Cotton, cotton, tomato. So, yeah, it looks like the potatoes are... I wonder why those take longer. Interesting. Okay. And then, let's see, this, this is all working on that stuff. So we need to plant five more things there. Now, can I... Can I make seeds with these? I can. Okay. I think that that gives 22 fruits and vegetables. Wow, that's really good. What does this give? It only gives nine. Yeah, that's really good. Okay, but um, how many tomato seeds do I still have? Okay, so I got three when we're here. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is split this in half. And we'll convert those to seeds as well. And then these will probably just end up eating. I'd like, I want to see, you know, what the potatoes give as well, you know, compared to the tomatoes. So let's just keep those in there for the moment. Got a little bit more cotton there, which is good. I went out and cut, cut a little bit of wood before dark. I have two lock picks too, by the way, now. Uh, so we're good to go on that. All right, let's go plant these other tomato seeds. Uh, whoops, dock on it. Oh, oh, that's just the ore from up above. That scares me every time that happens. <laughs> it's like, what in the hell? All right. So, yeah, let's put all of these in here. And um, fill the fertilizer up. And then this one is good to go. Um... Yeah, I hope I, I hope I can get a, at least one more crop out of both of these before it gets too terribly cold. Um, does it even say anything about that? Because right now it's 
Very cold outside. No, it doesn't give us any kind of cold indication. What if we could actually convert this into a makeshift greenhouse? Um, yeah, I don't know if I if I can manage that before winter. We'll see. Uh, but I'm, you know, I've mentioned this a few times now, but I'm relying upon meat for winter time. Um, so that means we got to really get some more hunting going. Uh, plus, we have our fishing blind that we made. And um, apparently there's ice fishing in the game. Haven't figured that one out yet, but we will when the time comes. Yeah, listen, to that mountain lion is just right up there. We need to probably try and kill. We do need to try and kill some mountain lions because we're going to need more sinew to make our... Sin, sinew? Sinew? I think it's sinew. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, to make our our winter clothing because we need to make ropes and ropes require sinew. Um, three per rope to be precise. And I have two that I got out of a, a locked chest. Um, so anyway, yeah, that's kind of where we're at. I'm going to wait until morning and then we're going to go out and hunt and do the usual gathering business. And I need to also make a, a, a ceiling for our blind, our fishing blind. Um, so that's uh, covered. Let's grab two of these. One thing I was going to um, ask you guys in the comments, um, what, uh, what do you play on in terms of how many days in the year? I'm on 60. And I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of feeling that might be a little too fast, but I'm not sure about that. So, yeah, let me know. I'd be curious to see what you guys play with. Okay, so that we got that done. And we got to go out and fill those two up. Let's drink a second one or a third one of those so we can fill three up. Um, we're a little low on the protein, so let's go ahead and grab a rabbit there. And we'll cook that up for breakfast. Um, in terms of meat, I mean, we have a lot of work to do, but, you know, we do have some good meat in here. We got six fillets and two steaks. So we really need to be focused on getting that sucker filled up. Uh, I think our two highest priorities right now are, well, we have three really high priorities. We've got to, we got to get this fridge stocked for, for winter. We need to get this place enclosed so we can keep warm um and it might you know i might end up just enclosing a smaller area here for winter time and then the third thing is we've got to get our winter clothing so that's what we really need to be working towards uh over you know the fall the fall months here okay so let's go ahead and grab this before it burns and we'll restock the fire, and then let's head on out. Hopefully it's not too cold. Uh, I want to look at these. Okay, so they got 40% light. Doesn't seem like the cold's affecting them too much, so... And, you know, I don't know if we have enough cotton to do everything we need to do, too. Um, so hopefully we can come across more cotton seeds, but I don't know. Like I said, it might be getting a little too late to grow another round of crops. It just depends on how that works with this game, which I'm, you know, still new to it, so I'm still trying to figure all that out. Okay, let's go down to our fishing blind and just put the roof on and get some water and maybe go dive for some kelp, and then it is, we gotta go looting. Big time looting. Hopefully, if we get really super lucky, uh, we'll be able to find a, uh, a couple of locked crates that's a level three wolf. Nah. Nah, I don't think we're going to mess with the level three wolf. I've been trying to... Oh, there's a hunter over there. I've been trying to um, do my wood... Uh, you know, my wood gathering at night close to the base, but... It's starting to get really cold now, so, yeah, I don't know. I guess we have to kind of duck to get in here. All right, so let's get this on. Um, I think, 
what we can do is pull this back towards us. Uh, yeah, like that. There we go. Okay, cool. So this is now enclosed. And the idea is we fish here in the wintertime um, with a fire going inside to stay warm. And we don't have to worry about getting ganked. Uh, well, I mean, we'll, we still might get attacked, but at least we'll be undercover when it happens and have a moment to deal with it instead of just getting smacked in the back of the head like we've done, like ha has happened a couple times. Come on, mouth work. Okay. Let's get up for some air. I don't, I don't think I want to get too far over that direction with the hunters over there. If things work out, you know, we might try and attack a hunter base too. Um, at some point, because we can get some really good loots from them. But I still don't feel like I'm really in a position to be doing that quite yet. So, yeah. Let's just kind of live and let live for now. And we'll see how things go. You know, they're not going to completely leave us alone either, but if we can just kind of hold them at bay while we continue to, you know, work ourselves towards where we need to be, then, you know, that could work. Okay. I'm mostly just going to hit the the big tree. Uh, oh, is that the cougar? No, that's a bear. Uh, I'm mostly going to hit just the grub trees today because I really want to hit the crates. That's what we got to do, man, is hit those crates. I really hope the chickens and rabbits are still out in the winter time. If they're not, then we're probably going to really have to rely upon fishing to feed ourselves. Alright, there's a level one wolf. out pretty good nice I need fat we are out of biofuel there we go locked crate awesome all right come on give us some good very nice uh, oh good more cotton seeds like six more cotton seeds oh that's amazing okay and yeah, we got some shotgun shells and some more sinew. Nice. Sinew. Alright. Let's see if we can find another one. Excellent. A little bit more fat. We're starting to fill up, so we're probably going to have to stop back by the base and drop a few things off, especially with all this valuable stuff that we got. Another level one wolf. Beautiful. Eh, I didn't need to do that last shot, but I wasn't sure if I got him or not. are out of room let's eat these and pick those up and we definitely need to get home now
There's another one right up the hill there. Ah, shit. All right. Let's kind of pull him back. And we need to make room for a chicken. If we just kill and butcher and butcher, then we should be able to pick these back up. That didn't give us any space back, though, damn it. All right, let's ditch... Um... I don't want to ditch anything, but I guess this one piece of fiber. We'll go up around this way. Am I being chased? Uh, no, just tracked. Shit. Dude, you were supposed to go away. All right, well, let's just go. It's too hard to to deal with him and also try and get everything with our inventory space all messed up. Okay, there's the mountain lion there. We might try and set up a, a blind, hunter blind platform thing to get him. All right, let's put um, both of you in there and the fat in there. And we'll put that stuff in there. That's awesome that we got six more cotton seeds. Um, let's go see if those potatoes are done. Yeah, they are. Okay, good. And we're going to throw more cotton in there. You guys are doing tomatoes. And we'll get some water going. All right, so potatoes give 10 fruits and vegetables. Tomatoes give... Tw really? These are over twice as much as potatoes? Oh my goodness. I guess... Yeah, I guess these... You want for, for recipes and not to eat straight up. Okay, well now that we know that, we're always going to prioritize tomatoes over potatoes for sure. Okay. All right, let's put stuff away. And then we might actually try and go after that mountain lion. But what we're going to do is we're going to set up a little platform. Um, mountain lions are also supposed to spawn... Ah, crap, I didn't bring my pick with me. Uh, kind of over that direction, too, in addition to by my base. Oh, you know what? There's our chicken that we killed. Nice. It's still there. Okay, it's good to know those stick around for a while. Um, I don't know if it'll stay fresh long enough for me to get it back, but the priority right now is the mountain lion, so... Yeah, it's right there. Um... What if we... this here and that allows us to get on top of it okay uh, yeah I mean guess this is as good as it's gonna get now we just have to pull them over here can't see him now Oh, there he is, right there. Okay. Okay, it's on. Alright. 
All right, let's just wait and see what he does. I don't even think he hit the platform at all, did he? Oh, he did. Shit. Okay. All right. Let's go over this way. We can get up there pretty easily by just jumping up that ridge. We got a pretty good shotgun blast off on him. What we want to do now is hit him with this and then run like hell back to our platform. Okay, there he is right there. Let's see if we can get a headshot. We got him. Okay. Nice. Our first mountain lion kill, you guys. Fan freaking tastic. Oh, can we get to him? <laughs> uh, seriously, we can't get to him. Oh, you know what? Is it because I don't have this equipped? Yeah. Awesome. And he's a level three too. Look at all that sinew. Beautiful. A couple livers too. All right. That worked out pretty damn good. That worked out pretty damn good. Let's, um, does this need any attention? Not, yeah, not really. I mean, it's down by 10. Okay, so the next time that mountain lion shows up, that's how we're going to get him. And, you know, we actually, it took one shotgun, one rifle round to the head. I did, I'm pretty sure I got a headshot. And then a few pistol rounds. So that wasn't too bad considering, you know, he was a level three mountain line that worked out pretty damn good and so we have nine sinew and let's look at something here real quick before i let you go ultimately we you know we can we want the winter jacket of course we want this stuff too the combat helmet and all that but um so this one gives more protection but less warmth this one gives more protection oh, oh wait this gives even more protection so this gives six protection and two warmth this is five protection and 2.4 warmth so this one's a little more warmth for a little less protection um okay so the sweater the sweater doesn't require the padded cloth and that's going to give us the most three two yeah this is going to give us the most warmth out of everything for shirts but um less protection than we currently have because we have four protection with our current shirt so i don't know i'm thinking probably this shirt's the best one to to work towards um and then we want the heavy duty pants as well which also provides six protection i'm assuming these probably cost the same right Five, fifteen, one, four, twelve. Oh, these are cheaper, and they still give the same amount of protection and even more warmth. Uh, we got some hunters shooting at animals. Um, these seem to be a little cheaper to make, and they give you they're better. Uh, we might have hunters outside. animals aggroing on them yeah I see green flares up that way and that sounds like a wolf aggro on somebody there's a level three wolf up there huh Okay. Anyway, what I was saying was these pants are the best pants we can make. They're cheaper than the heavy-duty t-shirt, and they give more warmth. So I think this is the first thing we should see if we can make. Um, the question is, can we make four of those padded cloth? We, we should be able to make the rope. 
Um, so let's grab all of that. Um, we're gonna need some sinew for that, but you know what? We're gonna be killing more mountain lions. So yeah, let's just make three ropes right now. And then let's grab all of our cotton seed that we currently have and all of our cloth and all of our feathers. So you're going to require four of, uh, of the padded cloth. Um, we're going to need 12 of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. Um, so, yeah, let's make the rope and then... Hopefully we can make four of the padded cloths. Yeah, we can. One, two, three, four. <coughs> and that'll allow us to make our, our winter pants, and then we'll have that taken care of. And then we just have to work on the coat and the... I guess I, I'm... Hmm. 2.4. I think this is going to be the better shirt because this only gives 0.4 more warmth, but one less protection. So this is the shirt that we want to go for. Um, let's just kind of see where we're at. Yeah, we're, it's going to be tough to, to do this with the amount of cotton that we currently have. But, you know, we'll we'll do the best we can. All right, we can make these now. Fantastic. Heavy duty pants, guys. Heavy duty pants. That's what I'm talking about. And then, I don't know, should we... Maybe for winter purposes, we should be looking at this instead. But the thing is, is that um, I'm not going to have enough cotton. I don't think. Because we need six... Uh, wait, what? Yeah, we need six cotton straight up plus the padded cloth. Here, let's put these on. Nice. How are we looking, man? Look at those pantalones. Very nice. Okay, well, um, I guess it all depends. If we, you know, if we can get a couple more crop harvests before it's just too cold, then. Yeah, I wish I would have planted those potatoes now, but I didn't know. I know now. <laughs> I know now. Tomatoes over potatoes for sure. I wonder how they compare to carrots and stuff, too. Anyway, um, what were we saying? So, uh, it's either the coat which is, or the shirt. I think we should go for the shirt because it's going to give us a lot more protection and only 1.5 less warmth than... The other, plus the fact that it doesn't require straight up cotton. So the question now is, can I make five more of these? Yes. Yes. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. That actually still leaves us six. Ooh, we, so we could make this. Hmm. So I guess the question is, do we trade two protection for one and a half more warmth? I don't know the answer to that. <laughs> and, you know, I mean, we, it just turned September, so we still have the entire fall. Um, so I think I'm going to go for the shirt. I'm going to go for the heavy-duty t-shirt. Um, so let's get 15 more of these. All right. So uh, let's make the heavy-duty shirt. Nice. That's going to boost our damage protection and make us warmer. And hopefully, you know, I mean, ideally, what we want to have happen before winter really sets in Okay, so that gives us 15 damage protection and minus 3 cold tolerance. So before winter really sets in, I mean, ideally, we do want the coat and we want this stuff too. The, oh, this does give a little bit of warmth protection too, so that's good to know. Um, but, you know, this will definitely be the next thing we'll be gunning for. Um, and this, of course, is going to give us even more 
it only gives us one point more warmth, but way less protection. So I don't even think the sweater's worth it, really, to be honest. Unless, unless you could. Oh, actually, no. If you can wear this over your shirt, ooh, maybe that's what you can do. Maybe it's considered like this. I don't know. Hmm. Well, we'll, we'll have to figure it out. Anyways, all right, guys. Well, it was it was a good day, man. We killed our first mountain lion. We upgraded our clothing. Uh, working towards you know getting prepared for winter and i'm pretty pretty pleased with where we are so i'm gonna let you guys go here and in the next episode we will continue going out and about uh, we do have another lock pick um and hopefully we can find another lock chest and we'll go from there so thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment and share out the video and we'll catch you in the next episode Bye bye